Welcome back to Life in the Word. I'm Bethany. And I'm Robin. And we are in Hebrews chapter 9 this week. Mm -hmm. So we're at the end of September and um, just have been going through this book. And this chapter talks too about like comparing worship in the Old Testament Mm -hmm. before Jesus died on the cross and what it was, that it was a picture of things in heaven. Mm -hmm. Um, And also it talks about the blood of Jesus. So did anything stand out to you specifically? Yeah, I just, you know, in the worship vein, thinking like we don't enter into worship to get ourselves ready to be in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. We don't have to do that. Um, And actually, I thought of like a board game. So as I was thinking about the tabernacle, and there's, you know, this first level where everybody can go, and then there's that next level where only the high priest can go once a year and all these specifics... I was envisioning a board game where you like are collaboratively trying to get to the center to unlock some sort of treasure and really like the dice have to roll just right or there has to be some specific set of circumstances that happen or you're able to manipulate in order to get that. Mm -hmm. And I was just kind of thinking about that as I was reading this going, man, we just, we don't have that. Mm -hmm. We just always only have access to God you know, and don't even have to think about it. And um, just, I'm just so grateful that I don't have to sit and think about how I can be in a good place to meet with my father. Mm -hmm. I can just go to him. Um, And so, yeah, that's what it made me think of, a a board game, just and trying to work your way to that center treasure and and get it unlocked and how challenging that can be. and or depending on other people yeah like me meeting with the lord and being in his presence and worshiping him isn't dependent on anybody else's actions either so yeah i was thinking about i was thinking and then i lost my train of thought as soon as i said i was thinking about (laughs) i was thinking about it'll come back to me i was thinking about the blood before this since i lost my other thought that i was i'm just as it talks about the blood and it's comparing And I think we all would say that, right? That we know it's no longer dependent on our works. It's dependent on the blood of Jesus. But I was thinking about that and just thinking about how powerful his blood is. And I think it's just something in our culture, like we don't have, you know, it's like in their culture, blood was like a thing. It was mm -hmm. like there was rules about if blood got on something or what you did with it. And it was like there was this high respect for the lifeblood of a thing. And I think that's not something that we have in our culture Mm -hmm. where you like understand that and think about that often. But I was just thinking about that this is like the power and like all of life and all of this is, was like dependent on his blood and like that his blood was pure and that his life and what it represented, that this blood represented a life that was like completely unstained, a completely perfect life but that the power that it has so it's talking about all these things that they had laws about right because it's the old covenant was based on laws of this and this and this that this blood is more like important and powerful than all those things and I think it was something I just started thinking on it and thinking about how I can even still get caught up on things that are important. Like, did I do this? Like, you know, like the same Mm -hmm. thing, like the steps and the processes and be like, do I rely fully on his blood? Or do I still kind of go back into like relying on myself and my abilities to do things well? Mm -hmm. And like, even like the value, I know we talked about this a few weeks ago, but the value of repentance of like, Mm -hmm. do I claim his blood? But not just being like, I'm sorry, but like the fact of being like, I claim that I am weak and I, you know, like, and I turn to you, I recognize in and of myself, I don't have the ability to do or be, but I claim your blood. Like I turn back, I turn away from the way I'm doing things. And like, that's what that repentance in that turning, Mm -hmm. but like that I'm turning, not just to like, I'm going to do it better now, but I'm turning and being like, it's your blood. Like I only can do this through like you, Jesus. Mm And, I, and just like, even like physically, or like physically, like out loud, like as I pray, just saying, Father, I just, I, I claim the power of your blood in this area of my mm-hmm. life. Um, so, and just relying on the importance of that and the power of his blood. So it's interesting how that is just a motivator even, but it's also the source of, of being able to do that, you know, yeah. that energy. 
Yeah, I think my other thought. So I was talking about how the things in the temple were a shadow. And it's like I, I've read before of the t of the temple, mm -hmm. and like they had the cords were like this, or they had the bread set up on this. Um, but it's something that I haven't done is like think through what is that a shadow of? Like if that makes sense of like thinking through if everything there was important, um, what like what is it a shadow of that it's represented mm -hmm. of? So that was just like an, I haven't done that. Just to be honest, I mean, I know the curtain, we've talked about that. We've talked mm -hmm. about this holy place in his presence, but like other objects that were in the temple, that they were important too. Like he gave specific instructions for a reason. So that's my, my personal challenge to myself that is now recorded is to like spend time meditating and asking the Lord, since like we said in last chapter, we're supposed to go to him ourselves to ask him to just bring revelation of like, what were those things shadows of and representative mm -hmm. of? And if that's something you've studied, then feel free to come in yeah. and, you know, like tell us what he's revealed to you through that too. Yeah. Right. Well, we only have a few weeks left of Hebrews. Yeah. And so we will be back next week with chapter 10.